What's up guys, it's your girl T Sweets and I'm back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button. And if you're returning, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for rocking with me. I just hit 500 subscribers, halfway to a thousand. Thank you guys, thank you guys, and thank you guys. Let's keep increasing that number. So guys, in this video, if I look like I have stiff neck, it is because I got my hair braided today and y'all know the first few days of getting your hair braided is a painful mess so if i'm doing minimum movements y'all know why okay so the purpose of this video is to talk to you guys about the color pop tinted moisturizer i was scrolling on twitter and i saw this lady she had the blemishes on her face and then on the next one her face was flawless her makeup looked good and her caption said a tinted moisturizer so of course i had to go and I had to check it out. Now I purchased the Deep Dark 22M um, ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer and I haven't used it yet. So you guys are about to watch and see how good of coverage it has on my face. You guys know that I have very acne prone and hyperpigmented skin. Um, so it would be great to have a moisturizer that works really well with my skin instead of foundation if i decide to switch over to tinted moisturizer instead of foundation for like everyday wear um yeah so stay tuned for the rest of the video to see how this looks on my skin girl you got super powers grew up like a lotus flower yeah and she walk around like she been lifting honey so of course I need my handy dandy wipe to clean my face because I kind of had like leftover makeup from earlier today. Usually after I use a wipe, I um, use my cleanser on my face to make sure that it's all the way clean if I'm going to sleep or something. But right now I just want to take off this little makeup. It's not a lot. but. As y'all can tell, it was still a little there. All right. Just give you guys a, let's see if we can focus this. I don't know what that is. A close up of my skin. By the way, y'all, I just got the new Canon MF50. So hopefully my content will look better. I'm gonna use my sponge. This is like my favorite sponge. I just cleaned it last night. So this makeup is from this morning, but um, I it's damp a little bit.
Yeah, that looks so much better with a brush. So if you have spots, you might not want to use a sponge. Cause so as you can see, like it looks, it's way better coverage with the brush. I don't want my face to look too orange. I don't really need much more on my forehead because my forehead is not as hyperpigmented, but I'm still going to apply it to like even it out. Okay. So yeah, with a brush, it had like a lot more coverage than it did with the sponge because maybe the sponge was like soaking it up or something. Just looking at it now, like, if you're the type of person, like, you don't like showing your dark spots or showing your hyperpigmentation, this is definitely something that you could, like, wear every day to do some coverage on your dark spots. Because that's definitely um, what it's giving me right now. And it doesn't feel heavy. Like, even though I kind of put a lot on with the sponge, it definitely looks good now with the brush. It's probably not something that would last all day. Like, you would probably have to refresh it but um, it probably will do better on your skin than foundation. But sometimes foundation can be thick on your face, you know, probably thick on your pores mostly. But um, the tint in this moisturizer is probably better than I've seen any other moisturizers. And this was only $14. So for $14, I say this is a really good product just by looking at it now now i don't know how it would do like throughout the day but right now just me applying it to my face it looks really well and it's something that i would probably use every day instead of foundation so let me show you guys a close-up i actually like it of course it's not gonna you know cover all of your um dark spots and like the Everyone has been doing videos and they're doing like a full face of makeup. I would do a full face of makeup if I like concealed a lot of my dark spots, like blending my dark spots in with concealer before I apply this to give it a thicker coverage. I rate this an eight out of 10. That's my rate for this ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. Just give you guys a last look. Now you see on my forehead, I don't have as many like blemishes. So it did a really nice coverage and it really blended in with my skin for the forehead. So I do like that part about it. It's just the really hyperpigmented parts. Like I said, but that was my whole intention to do this video because I have bad hyperpigmentation. So guys, um, I now have tinted moisturizer in my hair, but that's okay because I will clean it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys can see it and you can make your own judgment, but I do recommend buying this product because it's only $14. I hope you guys go ahead and subscribe to this channel, like, comment, tell me some other products that you would like me to try on my hyperpigmented and acne prone skin, and I will try to get it done for you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure you guys like comment and subscribe thank you thank you thank you for watching this video see you later guys yeah, she walk around like she been lifting honey the sun must have kissed you with his lips